Hello investors, good early morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. This is the morning stir, market and resource rundown for Monday, November 5th, the last trading day before the election. Better than expected jobs numbers boosted stocks in early action Friday, only to turn negative and reverse the big gains from Thursday. The E-mini finished down 1% at the 1405 area. The index did eke out a two point, which is 0.2% increase on the week with support at Tuesday's 1393 extreme lows. Dow futures closed down over 100 points plus, with 1% lower, to just above 13,000. After all the volatility last week, the blue chip index was relatively unchanged with being off 14 points on the five days. Resistance above sits at 13,225, with support at last Monday night's lows just below 12,950. Tech shares lost 39 points Friday to 2641. The E-mini Nasdaq is still stuck in a 75 point range since October 22nd between 2700 and 2625. Crude sold down just above the 8460 multi-month lows, down 2.5% on the day Friday. The high Thursday at 87.42 pushed to just, just below the resistance, and the new relative lows were made last Monday at 84.50, which is now support. Dollar strength up above 80.50 pushed the euro currency to its lowest point in a month, down 110 points to 128.30. December bonds did close negative, only four ticks lower at 148.5 after being down a full point early in the action Friday. 148 is the halfway pivot support below. Gold broke lower down $40 after the push below $1,700 support. The loss was $36 on the week to finish at $1,675 an ounce. Silver closed down over 4%, down $1.40 to $3085. With the last trading day before the presidential election, where do things stand this Monday morning to start the day and to begin a historic week? The dollar continues to march higher, up 15 at 80.85, with the euro now below 128, down another 40 points at 127.90. December bonds as a volatility indicator have jumped three quarters of a point to 149 and six ticks. Crude oil is holding this 85 level, even though the dollar is stronger. Oil, has ha oil had more than a month long sideways trading range in the December contract between 88 and 94 before this last breakdown. Gold has bounced and is $6 higher at $16.81 after the big drop on Friday. Resistance above now sits at the failed $1,700 an ounce support broken last week. Silver's up 14 cents higher here at the $31 level with the $32 level, the pivot uh, uh, sitting up above. As we had started on this Monday morning before the election day, the E-mini S&P sits unchanged at 1406. Dow futures are 11 points higher right now and the Nasdaq futures lead gains up eight points with an hour to go before the stock market opened. So to wrap up the current action this Monday morning, the euro currency is 40 points lower, bonds are three quarters of a full point higher above 149, crude is steady at $85 a barrel with gold $6 higher. Stock futures are mixed to unchanged with the E-mini S&P at 1406. The Dow futures here at the CME Group are 11 points higher, I'm sorry, 11 points higher at the 13,000 level. Please visit our sponsors at morningmarketstore.com for more information on commodities, futures, and options. I'll see you early Tuesday morning for the stir in the markets to set up your trading day. From the CME Group trading floor, it all comes back to commodities.